Oi, oi. Stop reading books, village boy. Yeah. It's not like you'll catch up to us just by reading some books. Exactly. Their upbringing is just too different from ours. We read books in the countryside too. It's not that unheard of. Nah, they don't have books in the countryside. Uh, stop it, guys. He's probably just curious because books are unusual where he's from. Of course there are books in the countryside. Shut it, village boy. Don't talk back to us. What do the books in the countryside have in them? Are there even words written inside? My name is Ibuki. I'm in my second year in high school. A month ago, due to my parents' work situation, we moved to the city and I had to change schools. Taiga and his friends bully me at school for being born and raised in the countryside. Because of that, I still haven't made any friends yet. Are all cities like this? My last school was so much better. My high school life is the worst. What should I do to fit into this school? Welcome home, Ibuki. Our school. Well, everyone just treats me like a villager still. It's normal in the beginning, son. They probably just think it's unusual to see someone from another region. I'm sure they'll get used to it soon. Anyway, go and wash your hands, dear. I've discussed it several times with my parents, but they don't seem to be bothered by it at all. If only there was some kind of opportunity to become friends with everyone. Alright, everyone. I, Keita, will be your tour guide today. If everyone's ready, let's go. This guide? I wonder if he works in a theme park or something. Okay, guys. We're in the forest now, so make sure you don't get lost. Alright, so this here is the famous thousand-year-old cherry blossom tree. Wow! Whoa, that's big. Wow, that's cool. Wow, what an impressive tree. Hey, village boy, go on, try and climb this tree. Huh? I don't think I'll be able to. Besides, I'm pretty sure you can't just climb it. What? Surely a village boy like you knows how to climb a tree, right? Oh! Isn't that the only kind of thing you would be good at? Hurry up and climb the tree then! Hey, you over there! Stop that! Don't hit your classmate! You have to be kindly to each other! <laughs> kindly, he says. You hear him? Who says that? Maybe it's some kind of dialect? Hey, are you alright? It's fine. I'm used to it. What? Are those kids always doing things like that to you? Did you tell your teacher about it? Of course I discussed it with my teacher, but nothing's changed. Please, just leave me alone. Uh-huh. Um, chop the carrots into coarse chunks? Coarse chunks? What's that? I've never held a knife before, so I'm not sure how to do that. This is how you chop it into coarse chunks. Whoa! Cool. I didn't know you were so good at cooking, Ibuki. Hey, teach me too. Uh, how do you, uh, comb cut onions? Comb cut is like this. It looks like those wedge-shaped combs that people used to use back in the day, right? That's where the name comes from. Wow, that's good to know. You're so knowledgeable about cooking. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, well, it's just that being raised in the countryside, you tend to learn these kinds of things, that's all. Alright, now that we've finished cutting the vegetables, let's start cooking them. I'll get the pot. Oh, uh, thanks. Wow, looks delicious. This looks way better than the curry my mom makes. Kibuki, you're amazing at this. <laughs> you think so? Hey, wait! What do you think you're doing? Oops, my hand must have slipped. Sorry about that. But you know what's worse? A village boy who's full of himself. Yeah, exactly. Since you claim to be so good at cooking, village boy, you should be able to salvage it, right? Besides, it's not like Taiga did it on purpose. Yeah, village boys are good at cooking, right? Why don't you try and fix it? Hey, stop it right there, guys. You put sugar into Ibuki's curry on purpose, didn't you? You can't do things like that. What? Excuse me, but do you have any proof that I did it on purpose? Yeah, he said his hand slipped. Yeah, he says he didn't mean it, so give it a rest. 
Uh, you cut those vegetables so well. I'm sorry, it's my fault. He did this because of me. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Let's all think together about what to do next. Uh, this isn't good at all. At this rate, that country boy will be the only one who won't enjoy this field trip. When I realized this, I decided to discuss it with my friend Mr. Moroboshi, the owner of the world-famous conglomerate Moroboshi Foundation. So, that's the gist of it. What do you think I should do, Mr. Moroboshi? Kids raised in the countryside tend to be more knowledgeable across a wider spectrum compared to city kids. He should be able to do something like this. Uh, something like what? I've got an interesting idea. Really? Tell me, tell me! I want to know! This evening, I want all of you to take a bath at the accommodation facility. Go to sleep early. No pillow fights and no messing around. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to sleep early. Hey, so what should we do? Let's go outside and find somewhere spooky to do dares. Uh, yeah. Wait, where did that guy with a weird hairstyle go? I don't see him anywhere. Ah! Oh, I'm scared! Someone help! Ah, it's too dark! I can't see anything! Calm down and be quiet, everyone! I'm sure the lights will come back on soon, though. It's taking forever for these lights to come back on! What's going on? Ow! Who just bumped into me? Uh, this isn't good. Everyone, stop moving. You might bump into someone or trip over and hurt yourself. So let's all just sit down where we are for a moment. Hmm, I wonder if there's a light source somewhere. Wait, that's it. If anyone has their phone on them, use it as a torch. Yay, we can see each other now. There you are. <laughs> Why did you run? You were right next to me before. You shouldn't be so scared. What? I'm not scared. I'll go find a circuit breaker. You guys stay here. Sir, I haven't got a phone. May I borrow yours? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Thanks, sir. I'll handle this while you look after everyone. Uh, okay. <laughs> Taiga's friends? Why are you following me? Because you're unreliable. Yeah, we don't trust you. Uh, you don't need to act so tough. I know you're scared. What? I'm not scared. Speak for yourself. Well, you can hold my arm if you like. Okay. Ah! What was that? I'm scared. It's nothing. Don't worry. Uh, it should be around here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Wow. How did you know it would be here? This place is quite big. It could have been anywhere. Village boys have good intuition. Yay! There's a light again! Woohoo! Whew, what a relief. Uh... Well, let's go back to the main hall then. Okay! Uh, but I was just following you, so I don't know how to get back. Me too. No worries. Just follow me. Okay! Ah, oh, thanks for that, Ibuki. No problem. Oh, here's your phone, by the way, sir. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Ah, it's too dark! Mommy, help! Wow, what a pathetic loser. Crying from a power cut? <laughs> How lame. Uh, hey, Taiga. The lights are back on. It's alright now. It's too scary! Ah, help me! There's no point talking to him. We've been telling him too, but it's like he can't hear us. Hey! When are you going to stop crying? The lights are back on! Uh, really? Oh, yeah. How pathetic. Wasn't he saying mommy earlier? Yeah, I heard it too. Oh, so disappointing. Don't say that. I just hate being in the dark. That's all. How did you manage to stay so calm? That was awesome, Ibuki. I guess it's not just cooking you're good at. In the countryside, we had power cuts all the time, so I guess I'm just used to it. Because of what happened at the field trip, nobody bullied me ever again for being a country boy. 
I ended up making lots of friends, and I get along with everyone in class now. Oh, come to think of it though, I never saw that guy with the weird hairstyle again in the end. I wanted to apologize for being so cold to him, when all he wanted to do was to help. Ah, uh, by the way, how did it go with that country boy in the end? It went really well! It was a complete success! It was a bit difficult getting permission from the teacher and the caretaker, but after I explained the situation, they were happy to help. This should do it. Although, after I flipped the circuit breaker switch, I got lost and almost ran into him. But luckily, I made it out. It was a close call. That was a bit difficult, but I'm glad everything else went well. It's all thanks to you, Mr. Motoboshi. So thanks again. I'm pretty sure that kid is a school hero by now. <laughs> I love going outside with you, Mom. Me too, dear. <laughs> My name is Sumire. I'm 30 and a mother of one. My husband passed away from an illness, so it's just my son, Kakaru, and I now. Nevertheless, I was leading a happy life, living together with Kakeru. But one day, when Kakeru and I went to a restaurant for lunch... Fire! Fire! Everyone, get out! It's a gas leak! Everyone get out before it blows up! Kakeru, we have to leave! Uh, Kakeru, where are you? Mom! Uh, uh, Mom! Kakeru! Oh, there you are! We need to go! Now! Okay! Watch out! Mom! Run, Kakeru! No! Mom! I'll be fine, dear. Just go quickly! Hey, you! What are you doing? We need to get out of here now! Wait! My mom's still in there! Mom! I thought I was done for, but I was rescued and brought to hospital. Miraculously, I survived, but... I suffered horrific burns, affecting 70% of my body. I'm sorry I look like this now. Don't say that. I love you, Mom, no matter what you look like. Oh, my skin's tightened so much. I can't move my fingers well anymore. I can't even do simple tasks as easily as I used to anymore. Ow! The water stings so much. Although I was prepared for it, the looks I get now in public are still painful. Mommy! Look, look! That person's face and hands are disgusting! Oh, stop it! I'm so sorry. No worries. From an outsider's perspective, I guess it is disgusting, huh? Ow! 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 Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine, dear. Don't worry. I don't want to make Kakeru worry. I need to brave the pain. I'm home. Welcome back. What happened to your arm? I just tripped over. That's all. All right. Well, be careful then. There. You're all good now. Thanks, Mom. By the way, Mom, when I grow up, I'll look after you. Oh, Kakeru! After that, for the sake of my son Kakeru, I asked to get my old job back and worked hard to raise Kakeru as best as I could. And 15 years went by. Kakeru graduated from a top-class university and got a job at Manizawa Heavy Industries. Ah, he grew up to be a fine young man. Hello, Kakeru? Mom, how are you? I'm good, dear. What's up? I'm just wondering how you are since I moved out and started working. Well, I guess I'm getting older, but I'm doing just fine. How about you, Kakeru? How are you getting along at Manizawa Heavy Industries? Well, it's been a year since I started working, and I think I'm finally getting used to it all. I can handle projects by myself now, too. Oh, that's good to hear. 
I'm so proud you've become such a fine adult. It's all thanks to you, Mom, for raising me well. Kakeru, I'm so glad I worked hard to raise him. Oh, and uh, by the way, I've got something important to tell you. I'm getting married. What? Uh, wow! C congratulations! What's she like, then? Her name's Megami. I was thinking of coming over with her to say hello, but my job's been so busy lately. I'll come visit with Megami soon enough, though. Alright then, I'll be looking forward to it. So, Kakadu's getting married. I think I've met Megami once. She seemed like a good girl. Oh, how exciting! Alright, so my seat is... Huh? Excuse me, my name doesn't seem to be on the seating plan? Ah, you must be Kakadu's mother. Please, come this way. Is this a waiting room before the ceremony starts or something? We reserved this seat for you to watch the ceremony. Huh? Why? Uh, the groom informed us that it was your wish. Huh. No, this... this must be some kind of mistake. I don't think so. The groom himself came and told us directly. Huh. Kakeru would never say such a thing! I asked them to. Huh. Kakeru, am I not allowed to go to the ceremony hall or the reception hall? Please don't take this the wrong way, but if you went out there like that, it would be embarrassing. What? The ceremony will be starting soon. Please, just sit and watch it from here, Mom. And whatever you do, don't come out into the hall, okay? You should be grateful that I even invited you. Do you, Kakeru, take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? To stay by her side through good times and the bad, for richer or poorer? And in sickness and in health? I do. Do you, Megumi, take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? To stay by his side through good times and the bad? For richer or poorer? And in sickness and in health? I do. You may now kiss the bride. I really wanted to see my son getting married in the ceremony hall with everyone else, but... <sighs> Looking the way I do, I guess it can't be helped. I'd just be a nuisance to Kakeru. One month after the wedding. Kakeru, a wedding gift just arrived from a friend of yours. Thanks, just leave it there. Okay. Megami and I are happily enjoying married life. After the ceremony, by the time I'd realized, my mother had left. I haven't spoken to her at all since then. Uh, there was no way I was going to let Megumi's relatives see Mom, with her looking the way she does. Kakeru! What do you think about this one? I think it looks good on you. Ah! It's a fire! Run! Uh, the flames are spreading fast. We need to hurry. Come on, Megumi! Ah! Megumi! I'm Dr. Moroboshi. I'm the one who performed the surgery. Miss Megami has suffered 70% burns, but she's managed to pull through miraculously. Just like mom. Your mother also suffered burns this severe? When I was in elementary school. That must have been difficult for your mother. Even after leaving the hospital, it's no easy feat raising a child in such a condition. A few months later, Megami was well enough to leave the hospital. But our lives became even more difficult than I imagined. Oh, my hand still hurts. Just breathing is painful. Even just sitting hurts. Don't worry, you'll get better soon. Cheer up. And then... Megami, you should come outside sometimes. It's not good for your health to be stuck indoors all the time. Megumi, Mom must have felt the same way while she was raising me. Oh, is that... <gasps> is that you, Megumi? A few months ago, we got caught up in a fire and Megumi suffered severe burns just like you, Mom. After living with Megumi once she got out of the hospital, 
I realized how difficult daily life becomes after suffering severe burns. But mom, you never cried or complained and worked hard to raise me all the way through to college. And yet, I treated you the way I did at my wedding. I'm so sorry. Wait, stop, Kakeru. I'm sorry too. Oh, uh, Kakeru's mom. You're Kakeru's friend Yoshiki, right? Yes, you remember. I was getting a bit worried because I didn't see you anywhere. Well, looking like this, if I attended the ceremony, I'd just make everyone uncomfortable. You know, Kakeru used to get bullied from elementary school all the way to high school because of that. But every time, Kakeru would say, my mom is not a monster, and would try to stand up for you. Of course, he always got beaten up, but he was never embarrassed about you. I didn't know Kakeru went through all of that. I'm sorry too, that I couldn't notice your problems when you were young. My problems? They were nothing compared to what you went through. When Megumi became a burn victim, I realized just how difficult what you went through really was. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for raising me, even with such a handicap, all the way to now. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Mom, I want the three of us to live together. I'll look after you both. <sighs> I can't do that. I don't want to interfere with your lives as newlyweds. I'd just be a burden to you, Kakeru. Remember what I said as a child, Mom, that I would look after you when I grow up. Of course I remember. Thank you, dear. And so, my mother moved in with us. This herbal tea is really good for the burns, you know. Go on, Megumi. Try it. Ah, uh, thanks, Sumire. After the tea, let's go for a walk. There's a new cake shop by the station, so let's go take a look. That sounds like a nice idea. How exciting! By spending time with my mother, who overcame similar circumstances, Megumi's getting back her self-esteem bit by bit. We're trying our best now to lead a modest and optimistic life. Moraboshi-sama, what is it you'd like to do today? Would you like to have a chat with me for a change? Moro the fifth, get the visualization ready. Roger. What genre of visualization would you like this time? I've already decided on the theme. The number of girlfriends a person makes over their lifetime. I'm Moroboshi, the head of the globally recognized Moroboshi conglomerate. My hobbies include business and being a scientist. Right now, I'm about to initiate a visualization phenomenon. Roger, would you like to visualize for yourself as well? I apologize in advance if my abilities are insufficient for analyzing your data. Yes, please go ahead. Also, I've got more time on my hands than usual, so I think I'll choose a target to observe. There's someone I'm interested in. Then I shall activate Moro Satellite the third. Collecting data. Collecting data. The visualization phenomenon shall commence. Uh, today's the first day I'll be going to my new school. I've never seen school as an enjoyable place. So why do I have to go? Hey, Mom? Your mom is busy right now, can't you tell? I'm sorry. Hey, Dad. Your dad's busy right now. Go ask your mom, okay? I'm sorry. I'm Mana, a sixth grader. My family has been moving every few months because of my parents' job. My parents are always busy and constantly irritated. They make scary faces every time I open my mouth. If you aren't even gonna respond to me, why did you give birth to me? I bet my parents became attracted to each other, became lovers, and got married. Living a happy life until now. Is living... fun? I don't get it. Hi, Mana! I'll be joining you from today as a transfer student. Nice to meet you all! Wow, Mana-chan, are you a half-foreigner? Yeah, my mom is from abroad. Oh, wow, your nose is so sharp! You look as pretty as a doll! My new school is far off in the countryside, and only has one class with 20 people in it. She's so cute! I know, right? There's something I've learned after transferring numerous times. Transfer students tend to stand out, which is why they must be careful. 
They must make sure not to become isolated within the class. As a half-foreigner, I stand out even more, so I must be extra cautious. The leader of this class must be that boy. Hey, can I ask his name? That's really cool! He's so handsome, he's good at both studying and sports! He's rich on top of that! Which is why all the girls in this class want to date him! He's our idol! I see. I can tell. After a while, I successfully integrated myself into the class circle. I'll be hosting a party at my house soon, so do you want to come? Huh? Can I go? Of course. Really, Clint and Mina Chandra look so pretty! You'll make for such a good pairing! I also became friendly with Rui, the class leader, but... Um, is he? Yeah... His family is so poor that he doesn't even have a bath at home. His parents don't care about raising a kid and barely go to work. He's always wearing tattered clothes, and I don't think I've ever seen him talking to anyone. Haruto Kawabi, the isolated one. I see. There's nothing you can do about being poor. No child is allowed to choose the environment they're born into, but... Haruto, you're alone and have nothing to do, right? Can you do my duty for me? We're busy because we gotta play outside, so erase the board for us, okay? Hey, why aren't you saying anything? How dare you ignore us! I didn't like Haruto. He himself was the biggest problem. He wouldn't say a thing even when talked to. But even so... How about it, Haruto-kun? If you don't mind, why don't you help them out? Uh... How could you ignore Rui-kun when he's trying to talk to you? Just who do you think you are? Uh... He had a dignified attitude. No matter what Rui, the class leader, or his classmates told him, he wouldn't budge an inch. And one day... Are you serious? What is happening? Regardless of the flower on his table or the classmates talking to him, Haruto Kawabe simply sat down in his chair with the same attitude. What <sighs> the hell's wrong with him? To think there'd be someone who intentionally worsen a life that isn't even worth living. Meanwhile, I'm doing the best that I can to avoid being isolated. While I didn't like Haruto, I became intrigued by him. Before I knew it, I began following him. He'd always disappear for any breaks we had, so I tried tailing him to see where he went. Guess he went home already. Mana, don't tell me you're interested in a guy like him. Huh? N no Well, I guess he does stand out in a way. But a guy like that is definitely gonna grow into a trash of society. A trash of society? I mean, he's poor and has no friends. His life isn't going anywhere. Don't you think so? Y yeah I do. Only I have to know the truth about how to tell. That's what I thought, until... It's happening once again. The visualization phenomenon. This time, it seems to be the number of lovers you'll have in your lifetime. Yamaguchi, yours truly, shall be reporting on the phenomenon once more. Research states that the number of lovers a person would have in their lifetime is around three to five people. It seems like mine is a bit above average. I'm a man with a big heart, I suppose. Now, let us interview some pedestrians. I had a boy I was dating until recently, but to think that he was the last person I dated in my life. Ah, uh, I'm sure you'll continue to meet people from now on. To be honest, I haven't dated a single person in my life, so seeing this number was really reassuring. Looks like you have a lot to look forward to. Please help me! I've been pretending to be pure and innocent in front of my current boyfriend! The what? Yeah, there's no problem whatsoever. I don't even have the slightest interest in real-life girls anyways. I... I see. What the heck? Why would you visualize something like that? Worse yet... Why am I zero? Hey, let me see everyone's numbers. Oh wow, you have that many? That's amazing! What should I do if boys see me as a whore? You're also getting one person? Oh, guess we're comrades. I'll get three. My parents are reassured. <laughs> hey, I bet Rui Kun would get plenty. I know, right? But I heard he's sick and had to skip school. Aw, wish I could see it. Isn't it pretty surprising that Monachan's getting none? Planetoe's also sick. That's rare. I wonder what his number is. 
Hey, don't you feel lonely? <laughs> hey, let's head to the other grades and see who's getting the most lovers. Sound great! The next day, while well, everyone was riled up about who has the most lovers. Ah, uh, Agurikun still isn't coming. Guess he's just that sick! Oh, I don't wanna! Mom, Dad, I'm staying at home! Oh, come on, don't be so shy and just go! Your cat just keeps skipping school forever! Please, no! Rikun, what's wrong? Huh? You aren't getting a single girlfriend? Zero is a bit sad. <laughs> Does that mean you can't date anyone? To our surprise, the popular leader of the class was a zero. Alright everyone, I know the visualization is exciting, but let's try to focus. I'll start by checking attendance. Haruto Kawabe. Haruto? Guess he still isn't here yet. Is he thinking of skipping again? Huh? Uh, are you alright? Did something happen at home? Huh? There's no way! Uh, how is Haruto? I know it! Loroboshi-sama, the child you are observing has a drastically high number. Does this mean he has a promising future? I've actually met this child before. It was at a lecture I held two years ago for primary, secondary, and high school students. Maraboshi-sama, do poor people always remain poor? I'm sorry to say this, but that's been the trend. If your environment is different, your starting point is different. Even if you have the same goal, the distance to get there varies depending on the person. However, If you don't give up and grasp onto an opportunity, there will always be a way to progress beyond your current environment. Even for you. Uh. I see. As I suspected. I look forward to his future. Few years later. Hey look! He's at the top of the grade again! He really is amazing! Oh, speak of the devil. I'm so jealous. He's got both the looks and the brains. Haruto, you sure are popular, aren't you? Hmm. <sighs> After that happened, Haruto entered Esmani High School, the top-ranked school in the country. I didn't want to be separated from him, so I studied as hard as I could and entered the same school. He's still the same as ever. I knew that during every break, regardless of their length, Haruto would study in secret using his tattered notebook. His hard work would come to fruition as from the next month. He would be studying abroad through the Moroboshi Conglomerate's Foreign Support Project. I bet I'll make numerous lovers overseas, but I'll definitely be his last lover. He's the only boyfriend I'll ever have! Thanks to Haruto, I found my goal in life. Even now, he's still the coolest loner I've ever met. Bonus My apologies. I was unable to analyze you once more. You and your surroundings are quite difficult to get a grasp on. Hmm, maybe I should switch you out for another AI with higher specs. No, please, anything but that! <laughs> I'm joking. Thanks as always. I shall do my best for the next visualization. Uh, looks like I'm staying till 1am again. The manager yelled at me for some reason, too. My name is Kanata. I'm 23 years old. I work at Black Corporation while suffering through its toxic work hours. And constant overtime. Whew, I'm done. Alright then, I'll leave organizing these to you. Uh, wasn't that part assigned to you? Hmm? Don't tell me you're trying to complain to your superior. N no well... I'm glad I can help out. Ha! Huh, then I'll leave it to you. Thanks to you, I'm heading straight toward my promotions. Ugh, it's 1am. Maybe I can make it to Akinichan's birthday event if I rush there. Alright, I have something important to do, so I'll be heading off. Uh, see you tomorrow. Something important? I bet he just wants to go chat with a hostess. 
Shosan is my superior who's a year above me. I've known him since high school. He's always mocked me and made me his errand boy from back then. No idea what kind of fate keeps us tied together, but we ended up working at the same company. He constantly forces work onto me to improve his business performance and be promoted. Not that improving performance at a place like this is getting you anywhere. <sighs> Maybe I should actually consider finding a new job soon. One day, after receiving my bonus and my first holiday in a while, Hmm, since I got a bonus, maybe I should buy a new game. Uh, it's from Shosan. Yes, uh, hello? Ah, uh, finally. You better pick up on the first call if it's from a superior. My apologies. Did you need something? I'm doing a group day with some university girls today. But one of my guys can't go, so I'll see you in Mani Mani area at 7. Uh, I don't have money, so I can't. You got a bonus yesterday, didn't you? A group date's in order, got it? I'll see you soon. Uh, seriously? A group date? While it was completely against my will, I proceeded to use my precious holiday night to join a group date. So Suzuki-sama, we've been waiting for you! We've prepared a top tier table for you guys, so go ahead and have a blast! Alright then, cheers! Uh, cheers! cheers. Man, uni girls hit different. Your skin looks so smooth. I know, right? I love the freshness you give off. Ew, it's so flirty. Might be the first time I drink with working adults. Then let's start with introducing ourselves. I'm Shaw. I'm a section manager at an advertising agency. Huh? You're a section manager? You're still so young. That's amazing. <laughs> well, they value talent over age in the advertising industry. So there's lots of people who receive promotions when they're still young. That's amazing! So you're good at your job too! Your choice of store is also so nice. <laughs> right? Keep up the compliments, will you? I'm Tsubasa, a hairstylist. I just opened a store at Monty Street, so feel free to check it out sometime. Here's my name card. Aww! Today is such a success! I get to meet both a section manager and a hairstylist! Right? Uh, guess uni girls would be weak for a hair-related occupation. At this rate, I won't stand out enough. Alright, I should make Kanata introduce himself. Hey Kanata, don't just stay silent and introduce yourself at least. Okay, I'm Kanata. I work at the same advertising company as Shosan, and I do graphic design. Kanata's my subordinate, you see. Uh, what was your position again? I'm in charge of graphic design. Oh, uh, graphic design is a job that involves drawing. <laughs> you can't even do an introduction properly? It's so obvious you're a dull introvert. So he just draws? Ew, an otaku! It was going great, but the last one is just a no-no. Nice. The flow is coming back to me. You're all from the same uni, right? What do you study? Uh, I'm Emmy. I study English literature. I'm Yukari. I study French literature. Ah, so you both do literature. That's so cute. Makes me excited. Hmm? What about the last one? Um, I'm Rico. I study Japanese history. Hey, Rico, speak up! The major in history is so lame. I know, right? What do you even do as a Japanese history major? Study clay dolls or something? <laughs> Kicked off by hellish self-introductions, the group date had begun. Since I'm here, I couldn't just stay silent the whole time, so I tried talking to the girl who was sitting in front of me. What do you usually do on holidays? Hey, so do you have any hobbies? Hey, no fair! I also wanted to talk with Shosan. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, so let's go in order, okay? They completely ignored me, but it seemed like the other two girls were having decent fun. However, the girl named Riko-chan simply sat in silence. Huh, <laughs> so is Riko-chan not gonna say a single word? Being shy is only cute while you're a student. You'll need at least some level of social skills once you start working. That's right. Customers who don't talk at all are pretty painful for stylists, too. 
Why are you always so gloomy? It's like, are you even listening to us? Huh. So you aren't opening your mouth no matter what. Hey, Kanata. You'd also want to hear Riko-chan's cute voice, don't you? Well, uh, uh, well. Help me out, will ya? Help you? What is he gonna make me do? Ta-da! I came prepared in case something like this happened. Huh? A plastic wrap? Why don't you two introverts kiss through a plastic wrap to liven things up? B but making a girl do a wrapped kiss is a bit... <laughs> Are you retarded? I'm trying to help Riko-chan become accustomed to everyone. You can't have group dates without wrapped kisses after all. What kind of group date has wrapped kisses? Ew, wrap kisses are so embarrassing. I don't mind if it's either Shosan or Tsubasa-san. I know, right? Come on, Rico, hurry up and do it. Wrap kiss. kiss. Wrap kiss. Wrap kiss. kiss. Wrap kiss. <laughs> That's not right. Riko-chan looks troubled too. I won't do it. What? It's fine, Riko-chan. Don't force yourself. Thank you very much. Ugh, what the hell? I'm feeling so out of it now. We were getting so hyped. This is why we can't have introverts on group dates. Hey, Kanata. You better take responsibility for ruining the mood. What the hell is this? I'm telling you to apologize by drinking. Excuse me. Can we get more drinks? And pitchers, please. From there... I was drowned in drinks. <laughs> what kind of penalty game is this? It really is the worst group date imaginable. And so... After finally getting to the end of the hellish group date... Hey, we're going for round two at my place, right? Hmm, what should I do? <laughs> what should I do? I know you wanna go. Jeez, Shochan, you're so blurty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. Now let's go home. Uh, it's getting pretty late, so I'll see you off. Hmm? But isn't it pretty far for you? <laughs> no worries. It just so happens that it's on the way back. Then I guess I'll take up the offer. <sighs> she looks really depressed. I'm pretty used to it, but it must have been shocking to be treated like that by Shosan after just meeting him. I felt guilty letting Riko-chan head home alone looking the way she did, and tried talking to her. Uh, Riko-chan, do you want to hang out for a bit at a different store before heading home? Handing it like that would probably leave a bad taste in your mouth. Um, sure. Alright then. Cheers! Cheers. Uh, been a rough night for both of us, huh? Yeah, you're right. Hmm, it doesn't seem like she's recovered yet. Well, uh, I've always been super dull. The me right now is already a big improvement compared to before. At my middle school graduation, a classmate asked me why I didn't come to the class party. But the truth is, I wasn't even invited in the first place. Like, just how invisible was I? The classmate who asked me made a face as if to say, Oh crap, when he saw my response. <laughs> Sorry. I also had a similar experience before. Oh, so that's the face she makes while laughing. I can tell that you're a very kind person. Thank you for looking out for me. Um, do you still have some time? It's up to you, but do you want to go to a more proper place to do a second round? No, but I feel bad. I just received a bonus yesterday, and it just so happens that I'm in the mood to eat some good food. After a terrible group date like that, you have to try and make up for it with a good meal. That's true, I suppose. Okay, I'll go. I was planning on simply cheering her up, but perhaps due to the alcohol, before I knew it. I had brought Riko-chan over to a luxury hotel. Um, a hotel? I've heard there's a great restaurant on the top floor of this building. It's hard for a guy like me to enter alone, so could you accompany me? Um, this place is... And don't worry about the costs. It might not look like it, but my bonus is pretty big. That's not what I mean. Alright, let's head in. And so, we ended up setting foot into the luxury restaurant. Welcome. Please, come in. Qu quick get the manager! I wonder what's wrong. The staff's attitude seemed a bit unnatural. 
but I was too taken aback by the vibe of a luxury restaurant to care. Sh should we get something to drink? Sure. Then, uh, I'll have a gin and tonic. One Mary Pickford, please. And two lamb chop course meals. Hmm, please wait a moment. It <laughs> seems like you know a lot about cocktails. Huh? Really? Ma... what was it? Mary something. I've never heard of that before. It's a cherry cocktail. Wow, that looks amazing. I've never eaten something like this before. It tastes great, doesn't it? Huh, Riko-chan seems like she's used to these kinds of luxury restaurants. Kanata-san, what do you usually do on holidays? I usually just play games. Really? I also like games, actually. What games do you play? Recently, I've been into Mani Mani Fantasy. Oh, did you buy the latest one? Wait, do you like it too? I haven't bought it yet, but I was thinking of buying it once I got my bonus. Ma'am, thank you very much for the visit. Huh? You have the wrong person. You look different compared to usual, but we can tell. Your young master Rico of Money Die. W what By Money Die, you mean the famous game company? You were... Yes. We've prepared a dress, so please change into it. I don't have to. It's your date after all. Please, let us treat you two in some way. But... We've prepared for your partner as well. What on earth is happening? k kanata san Riko-chan? You look so pretty. Um, why were you wearing such plain clothing before? I was never good at being stared at by other people. I didn't actually want to attend today's group date, but I was forcibly invited by people from my university. But I managed to meet you, so I'm glad I came today. I'm also happy I met you. Um, thank you for covering for me today. And, uh, is it okay if we continue to meet up? Uh, if you're fine with someone like me, then of course. From there, the two of us met up each time we had a break. And then... Ugh, so the uni student I met at a group date was cute at first, but she's been really toxic. And without makeup, she looks like a completely different person. She didn't even have eyebrows. Hmm, uh, so that's what it was. No, oh, hey Kanata. I heard you've gotten close with that dull girl from the group date. How's it going between you two? Uh, well, I guess it's been going like this. What? what? This is that dull girl? Yep, and we've officially begun dating. D dating Are you for real? Oh, and also, this. Huh? What is that? I've decided to start working at Money Dai, uh, Rico's dad's company from next month. Money Dai? Yep. I already talked to the manager about it, so I'll be quitting this company today. What? what about my job? My promotion? Why should I care? Before you worry about promotion, you should worry about not getting fired. You're terrible at your job after all. But wait! Don't quit! Well then, goodbye. After that, Shaw-san, who was completely reliant on me for his job, made consecutive mistakes at work and was fired. As for me, I began working at my new job, and my relationship with Riko-chan has been going great. Kanata-kun, can I leave the driving to you? Of course! Ah, it's from Riko-chan. Also, once Riko-chan graduates, we've made a promise of getting married. Do you have the evidence that led to this result? Yes, I've gathered all the material. Here it is. Mm-hmm. It's very well organized. Hearing that from me makes it all worth it. I'm Moroboshi, the head of the globally recognized Moroboshi conglomerate. I'm currently at the Moroboshi Cram School run by the conglomerate. Only elite students can enter, and those who climb into the top 20 rankings can apply for S-ranked high schools with ease. Furthermore, those in the top 10 are allowed entry into the Cram School for the early development of business managers. The Moroboshi conglomerate will provide funding once they begin building their own company. The school has already seen around 20 of its students become young managers. What's good, Boroboshichi? Hello, Keita-kun. You got some time after this? 
My friend is doing a live band performance after this, so I came to invite you. That sounds good. I suppose I should invite Nico as well. I'll head off to work, so go to bed, okay? But, Mom, you weren't looking too good. Maybe you should take a break for today. If I take a break, we won't survive. Who else is gonna make a living for us? Uh, I'm sorry, Mom. <gasps> Kosuke, I'm sorry. I was feeling really stressed out, so I couldn't help but vent on you. It's okay. I want to learn to make money soon so I can help you out. Just hearing that is enough. Thank you. I'm Kosuke a seven-year-old in primary school. My father soon passed away from an illness after I was born, and I've been living alone with my mother ever since. My mother has a weak body which prevents her from having a full-time job, and she earns her living as a day laborer. If only I was older so I could work part-time to earn more money. I'll get going, see you later. Don't push yourself, okay? See you soon. I hope she'll be okay. All right, in the meantime, I'll do what I can. It was my daily routine to look for a change throughout the nighttime city after seeing her off. Hey, that live performance was amazing! I was blown away by how the whole venue felt like one entity. You're right. The guitar in the last song especially stood out. So, did I manage to turn you into a fan? Yeah, there was a song I liked, so I bought it CD. Oh, just what I expected from you. Meanwhile, is there any money in there? Oh, I feel something! Ugh, it's just an arcade medal. I'm not finding any money tonight. Oh, there's a dollar coin in there. Uh, just a bit more. People with low income are so pathetic. Why do they even live when they have no future? I know, right? What's keeping them from offing themselves anyways? Aren't their annual salaries less than a hundred of ours? Exactly! It's also so funny how those people tend to have a ton of kids. Like, is that all you spend your time on? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Hey, take a look. What a gross little brat. It's so obvious he's from a low-income family. <laughs> Ew, you're right. Let me go tease him a bit. <laughs> Bad idea, Yukari. <laughs> hey, are you poor? Don't you feel embarrassed about looking as gross as you do? Oh, if you're gonna talk to me like that, the least you can do is help. Hmm, I can't reach. How dare you ignore me! Be grateful I'm even talking to a poor bastard like you! What's so fun about living for poor people like you? Come on, answer me! <sighs> what a pain. Oh jeez, I spot a small kid getting bullied! Uh, let me go save him real quick! Hey, hey! Why is a full-grown adult picking on a little kid like him? What? Who the hell are you supposed to be? Get out of my face! Just ignore him, Yukari. Let's get going. Ugh, way to ruin the mood. Are you okay? What's wrong? She started picking on me as I was trying to get the dollar coin under this vending machine. You saved me. Hmm, it's sitting pretty far away. Come on. Alrighty, here you go. Oh wow, thank you so much. You managed to get a lot of dirt on your face, haven't you? Th thank you. Take us on, you two. Oh, uh, don't you worry about me. May I ask why a young child is out in the city this late? My dad passed away a while ago, and my mother has a weak body so she can't take up a proper job which makes her family really poor. It's been difficult to raise her living expenses, so I've been on the lookout for lost change every day. You're suffering so much when you're still young. But it might be my fault that my mom is as stressed out as she is. Morobushichi, is there anything you can do for him? Maybe lend him some money for example. Sorry to disappoint, but I can't lend you money. What? Come on Morobushichi. Oshisama. Of course, you can't just lend money to a kid you just met. However, if you truly believe you can change things and help your mother live a better life, then I can introduce you to the adoption system operated by the Motoboshi conglomerate. Adoption system? Yes, the families who've applied for it are all rich. If you decide to be adopted by one of these families, your mother will receive a massive amount of funding. I... I want to help my mom! I'll be adopted, so please introduce me to the system! You seem determined. Alright then, I'll introduce you. And so, I ended up being adopted. At a later date... Hello, we've come to take Kosuke-kun. I've heard the situation from Kosuke, but... The Motoboshi conglomerate's adoption system is different from a normal adoption system. Participant families have cleared the conglomerate's strict qualifications. And I guarantee that your son will live a fulfilling life filled with love. 
This suggestion is for the sake of Kosuke-kun and your own happiness. That's true, I suppose. At this rate, Kosuke will grow up without proper education or love. I understand. I'll use the system. Please take good care of Kosuke for me. Mom! I'll do my best from here on, so please stay safe. I love you, Mom. Yes, I'll do my best too. I'll always, always love you, Kosuke. Kosuke. And so, I was adopted by a new family. They're very kind people. I'm sure you'll live a happy life from here on. This is my new home. The family who adopted me. We're in a training company and we're very kind people. Kosuke Goon, what kind of foods do you like? Let's eat your favorite food for dinner tonight. I like hamburgs. All right then, I'll make you the best hamburg you've had. Th thank you. Kosuke Goon, is there anything you'd like to do? If you find any classes for things that seem interesting, feel free to let me know. There's a cram school I want to enter. Oh, that sounds great. Which one is it? It's... My parents raised me with lots of love and care. A year later, it happened after I became eight years old. While walking home from my cram school, I reunited with the woman named Yukari who mocked me back then. That lady is... What are you looking at? Now go away! It doesn't seem like she remembers that I'm the kid from last year. Um, are you looking for something? Food! What else? My parents' company went out of business and we're out of money, so I'm looking for food! Trash from convenience stores tend to have leftovers. Oh, I see. I guess our positions reversed over the span of a year. Hey, if you're throwing away leftovers, let me have them. I don't have leftovers, but would you like to come to my place? I have plenty of delicious food. Huh? Feel free to eat as much as you'd like. All of this? Th thank you. What's happening? I was taken here by a kid who I just met. I'm starving right now, so I'll just be grateful and accept it. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> I'm stuffed. All right, Naz, thanks. Kosuke-kun, who I introduced to the adoption system back then, entered the Motoboshi Cram School and quickly entered the top 10. Now you've set up your own company as its CEO! That's crazy! It's all thanks to you, Motoboshi-sama. My new mom and dad are both great people. I'm so happy right now. I see. That's great. Kosuke-kun, you're amazing! Oh, by the way... I ran into the lady called Yukari who made fun of me back then. She became poor after her family's company went out of business, so her positions had been reversed. Hmm... I think Yukari-san already suffered enough for mocking me. I can't just forgive her what she said, but... But? But? She is quite pretty. Her aloof vibe is nice, too. Maybe I should make her my maid. Huh? If you don't want that, why don't you just try asking her? Thanks for the help back then. Uh, um, Yukari-san. Hmm? What is it? I'll help you, so please be my sister. A few months later, I made a new older sister. Hmm, no experience, huh? Why is that guy being so creepy with that smirk? Yeah, you're right. Let's stay away. That person looks like a dojin student, so I bet she doesn't have experience either. <laughs> It's not ringing! There are more girls out there who dress like that but have no experience than it seems. Let me try checking. Ha! Bingo! Excuse me, can I ask you to help me out? I think I might be lost. Oh, fine. You're pretty good looking, so I'll guide you around. Alright. That's another one in the bag. If you were obtained a way to check if the women around you were experienced or not, what would you do? Sorry to disturb you during a discussion, Motoboshi-sama. There's a... Hmm, I see. I'll see what they have to say. Fix my schedule around it, please. Understood. We apologize for the sudden meeting request. No worries. So, what was it you had to talk about? Actually, we've made plans for developing a certain app. To put it simply, it's an app that measures a woman's experience. Experience? Yes, experience. I'm sure you already know, but a woman's experience has always been a factor in generating the interest of a man. Some are fond of women with more experience, while others are fond of those with less. Hmm. We're thinking of developing an app that measures experience and using it to collect behavioral psychology data from males. We believe it is integral information to combat the aging population issue, as well as national development. Could we please ask for your assistance in the process? Hmm, sounds good. Let's do it. Oh, thank you very much. We always knew Motoboshi-sama would understand us. We're looking forward to your services. My name is Ryota. I'm a third-year high school student, 
My university exams are coming up, but... Oh well, I'm sure I'll make it into Mani Uni with top grades. My studies have always been the one thing I'm good at. I've passed any exam with ease, so I've got no concerns about my university applications. However, I hope I'll get to talk with girls in uni. Yes, I'm quite the introvert. To put into perspective, I was nicknamed the Garita of Nerds at school, and was told I could win first place if a national introvert competition was held. My hobby is analyzing people, women in particular. After reading Genji Monogatari, a Japanese classic novel, I've developed a great interest in the organisms known as women. To know your opponent, you must begin with research, or so they say. As such, I spend each day analyzing the ecology of women. Leo, when's the next time you can play with me? <sighs> I've been busy, alright? No way, you've been out playing with other girls, haven't you? Of course not. I'm devoted to Yukari-chan and no one else. Then can you stay with me for the rest of today? Yep. Hey, no fair! What about me? <laughs> then let's have fun between the three of us then. <sighs> Man, you always make me so jealous. How are you so popular? Uh, gotta be my looks and social skills. <laughs> Just kidding. Well then, see you later. Alright, now that the app is finished, I have to input the test subjects. Nanomachine Moro III, activate satellite surveillance. Understood. The satellite has been activated. Set search results to introverts and extroverts. Here are the 50 search results for people with a high introvert index and those with a high extrovert index. Hmm. Narrow it down to students living in the capital area. Here are the results for students living in the capital area. They seem like they contrast each other quite well. Alright, I'll use these two. Send them an email notice. Understood. What the? An app that sounds an alarm when approached by women without experience? That's a pretty unique title for a spam. Hmm, but it's made by the Moroboshi conglomerate. Guess I should look into it. This is... I suppose I'll try it out. Huh? What is this? An app that sounds an alarm when approached by girls without experience? <laughs> Seriously? That's crazy! I was just getting bored of fishing bitches. So inexperienced ones sound like a shout. Well, the one I'm meeting today is also a bitch though. Guess I'll try using it. <laughs> oh jeez. Who'd ever tell anyone else about an app that's this useful? A day after installing the app, even if it's made by the Moroboshi conglomerate, I can't help but be suspicious. I see. Inexperienced, huh? Hey, why is that guy smirking so creepily? I know, right? Let's get going. After knowing my classmate with gaudy appearances were inexperienced, I was quite excited and quickly became obsessed with the app. That person looks like a dojin student, so I bet she doesn't have experience either. It, it's not ringing. Seriously? She's experienced despite looking like that? Ooh, this app has quite the appeal to it. From there... I activated the app each time I walked past a woman. Days went by as I let my imagination run wild. Hold on, what do I even want to do by knowing if they're experienced or not? And meanwhile, on the extroverted Leo's end... Today's a date with kaori chan a gal-type bitch who I'm meeting for the first time. I bet she's experienced, but I guess I'll try using the app. Leo-kun! I'm so sorry for being late! <laughs> no worries. I also just got here. Hmm... Huh? Something wrong with your phone? Hmm? Uh, oh, I was so excited about our date that I set an alarm on my phone. Aww. By the way, you're actually inexperienced, aren't you? Huh? H how could you tell? Oh, don't be shy. Once you're at my level, you can tell at a glance. No, I'm so embarrassed. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. I'll spoil you as much as you want. I'll guide you step by step. Aww. To be honest, I was pretty suspicious of the app at first. But once its accuracy was proven, I used it every day to fish for inexperienced girls. I bet inexperienced girls are into clean and tidy guys rather than gaudy ones. I'll dye my hair black. Guess I should wear a white t-shirt. There are more girls out there who dress like that but have no experience than it seems. Let me try checking. Bingo. Excuse me, can I ask for some help? I think I might be lost. Oh, fine. You're pretty good looking, so I'll guide you around. Alright. That's another one in the bag. 
While one used it for its illusions, the other used it for hitting on girls, as time went on. <sighs> I've finished checking most people within the school. Ugh, I've read the pattern for the usual area, so it's getting pretty boring. One day, the two left their usual base of operations and activated the app in a new location. Hmm... Something interesting might happen. Uh-huh. Where am I? I ended up in a pretty weird place after walking around for a while. Just how far does that house's premises go on until? I should hit up ladies living in expensive districts for a change. Maybe if I score one with an inexperienced rich girl, I might get some of that money. I guess most people living at a place like this are married. Ugh, how are there so little inexperienced ones? My plan's in shambles. Got it! Such nice weather today! Sh she's so cute! <laughs> oh boy, that lady's inexperienced? Now I'm feeling motivated. Uh, excuse me, uh, hello there. I actually got lost in the area. Do you know where this bakery is? Oh, that bakery is quite popular around here. I think you went down that street and turned to the right. That guy, his alarm went off, didn't it? Does that mean he's also looking for inexperienced girls? Crap, at this rate, that lady... Uh, ouch! Huh? Uh, are you okay? Damn it, that guy from earlier. <laughs> Don't you dare try to hit on her. <sighs> Fine then, I'll give up this time. I... I won! I protected this lady from that creep! Um, are you alright? If only more of Oshisama was here. An introvert like me won against an extrovert. This must be fate! Um, uh, I'm in love with you! Huh? I'm not sure what your intention is, but I already have someone I set my eyes on. So I'll have to decline. <laughs> oh, this app sure is interesting. And so, after obtaining the power to know the experience of every woman in the city, they just so happened to target the same person and failed, leading to both of them abandoning the app. Even if they're inexperienced, they'll never talk to a guy like me. I knew bitches were better than inexperienced ones. Moroboshi-sama, is it true that you've gathered the data? Yes. The contents are quite interesting. The two subjects are students in the capital area and have opposite personalities. I believe it made for an interesting sample. As expected from Moroboshi-sama, please continue to support our ventures. Yes, of course. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here! We'd love to hear your thoughts, too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!